Hi YouTube family, my name is Alicia English and welcome back to my channel. Today we are on an adventure to go pick up some more supplies to get prepped for the show. Welcome to the head cold zone. <laughs> we uh, have been sick all week with a terrible head cold. Our whole family got hit this week. We are prepping for the show as you probably know from watching our latest videos. Sorry, we've been kind of away all week, but we have been prepping for this show while we've been feeling like we've been hit by a truck. So today we are on our way to pick up more wood and paint and stain because we have exhausted all of our supplies at home to get ready for the show. So we are going to go buy out as much wood as we can at the hardware store and then head home and do a lot more prep. See you there. Last night we headed to the city to go pick up a couple of outfits to wear for the show. I'm there for four days so the key is to be comfortable let yet look professional. So we went to get some sweaters that were kind of Christmassy but not ugly Christmas sweater themed and some new kicks so I'm comfy on my feet standing there for four days. So I need to make 100 to 200 more signs in the next four days and so I need to get as many 1x2s as I can to be able to frame them. I use 1x2x8s and they come in bundles of 18 so I'm going to get five or six bundles of these. outside but we just got back home and we just brought all of the wood into the studio room so that we can cut this all to the sizes that we still need as I mentioned earlier in the video we have over a hundred at least more signs to create in the next four days I know just absolutely mind-blowing how many things we still need to get done before the show but we will work as a team and get everything done we have lots more to show you we're gonna show you guys so many steps of the show the day that we set up is Wednesday next week so that is the 27th and then we'll be there the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's a four day show. I think you'll be surprised at how unbelievable the traffic is at this place. When I did the spring show, I had never even been to a show, let alone in one that had that many people attend. So I'm so curious to see how the attendance is for this. And everyone that's going there is doing Christmas shopping and it's so cheery and it's just like season greetings all around. Everyone's in such a holiday cheer. So it's just a really fun event to be at. I used to visit the show with my family when I was a kid, so it's really neat to be participating this year. So head cold or not, this is the huge pile of wood that I need to get through in the next four days. So this is signs, frames, and blanket ladders. So I'm taking about a dozen blanket ladders to the show, tons and tons and tons of signs, all my ornaments and other smalls that I've created to take. Luckily, I already had my setup made for the spring show. If you wanna watch my shiplap wall craft show display video, it's located on my channel and I'll put the card above for you. Um, that was so nice to have that part of this show already completed. Just not having to create an entire setup on top of the inventory has really, really helped me, especially with coming down with this amazing cold that I have right now. So we're hoping that we can um, get a lot done today and it's prepped and ready. So tomorrow we just get to start firing on work. So we're really excited. Today I woke up with a lot of comments, messages, emails, Instagram posts, you name it. I'm just concerned that we were not all okay here at the house. So thank you so much for being concerned and for thinking about our family. We know that we haven't done a video for you guys this week, um, but just with being sick and balancing the show, it's been really difficult to get what we need to get done for this really important show for us that we really want to show you guys. I signed up for this show about a year and a half ago. And at this show, we have a 10 by 15 size booth because you can imagine how much inventory we can fit into a whole store worth of stuff that's going to be there for four days. I'm really excited because my mother-in-law will be coming with me to the event. She's a wonderful help to have at the event, but to be able to do this event with her is amazing. We've done events before together and we really enjoy doing them. She creates the most amazing fiber arts with upcycled materials, which I'm going to get to show you in our video for the inventory that we're going to be actually having set up at the show. 
lots of messages from you guys asking what are we going to show about the show that you guys don't want to miss anything we're going to show you as much as we possibly can this week my mother-in-law participated in a fiber arts festival and i'm going to show you some of that during this video so you can see some of the amazing fiber arts that she does and all of the people that are in her fiber arts community they hosted an amazing show that they do year after year and it was really interesting and we were lucky to be able to go see it Today we are visiting my mother-in-law who's participating in a fiber arts festival. There are a lot of creators here making amazing handmade items so I wanted to showcase them today for you during this video. So Teresa is demonstrating rug hooking with wool. There are many demonstrations that are happening here today which is a really neat spin on coming to a market where you get to see how a lot of the items that are here for sale are actually made and created all using different natural materials. Wool yarn hooked through the linen and then these strips are wool material hooked through the linen. And you can mix them together or do them separate and you can make rugs, wall hangings, tea cozies, anything. I love all the textures, it's so cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the colors of the fibers that you're using, do you get from different upcycle materials? Do you dye them? How do you come up with all the different colors? So this will show some, this is a, used to be a sweater, a beautiful sweater that's been cut up. And this was a kilt, so a wool kilt that's, that I use. And this was a beautiful uh, pair of women's uh, wool pants. And so everything's been thrown in the washer and thrown through the dryer. And then I cut it up into these nice thin strips and then hook it through the, the linen. And if I want, if there's a color that I don't have, then I have special dyes and I can dye the different colors but you can find a lot of natural things. So this is the cutting machine that she uses to cut the strips of wool to create the rug hooking materials. So this is sashiko waro work, and we're using the Japanese needles, which are very, very long, and a special Japanese thimble, which goes on here, so that when you push the long needle through your work, it gets pushed onto here and doesn't go through your hands. And then once your material is all covered with beautiful stitches, then you can make it into things. So here's a, a purse, it's a, called a Japanese knot bag, and one goes through, and then it goes on. Those are gorgeous, Mom. For those of you who are asking, my show is on November 28th, 29th, 30th, and December 1st. And it's located at the Western Fair Agriplex Center in London, Ontario. The hours are posted on their Facebook business page, which I will post in the description box down below. If you who are writing, wanting to come and get a hug and say hello, please come out and visit me at the show. I am just as excited about meeting you as you are of meeting me. 
the show is going to be crazy busy. And so I might not get a chance to stand and talk with you for very long, but a quick hug and a meet would be amazing. I'm almost about to go pick the kids up from school. We were able to get all of this done while they were at school. So I'm going to head and go pick up the kids. And then I have a lot of work to do about 50 rolls of vinyl and a whole pile of wood. So I'll see you guys in a couple days. I'm going to get back to creating. Wish me some luck in the comment section. And if anyone has a head without a head cold that I can borrow for a few days, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. Come on out and meet me at the show. I can't wait to meet you.